Hello and welcome to my Fair Winds build, well, build, no, decorated my Fair Winds house, my Fair Winds boat, my Fair Winds adventure in sailing. Ooh. So a few things um, before I get started showing you the decorations. You can get up to the crow's nest. In fact, I have a little watcher here. Guarding it, you can get to every single one. I just discovered that the area I was trying to climb was not correct. <laughs> so you can only climb on the one side very specifically on these. And um, if you fall and hit in the wrong place, you will most definitely die. Uh, that water is not spicy water. No, that would kill you slowly. No, the water is insta-death. Um, so if you accidentally fall in it, it is boom, you're dead. Bye-bye. Night-night. <laughs> As I discovered to my horror. So I decorated both of these little areas right in here. And I tried to make it as sort of inconspicuous a decoration as possible. I wanted a little bit of greenery and prettiness, so we put it in only in areas where it would easily be used and not get in the cruise way. The most important thing on the top of a ship is to keep it so that the crew can tie off where they need and um, move about as they need to sail this giant vessel, the crew, the non-existent crew, because um, I used all of my pet slots um, on pets, but um, I also just don't have a terrible lot of people on this non-existent character who is all of level three. <laughs> I don't have any companions or anything else, so um, we stuck uh, just a couple, we got our little guard up there in the crow's nest, and um, I believe Keldor in the kitchen. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> so we did something similar on this side for the captain's area. Just um, a little minimal decoration to make it a little prettier. And so we could enjoy. And I just realized, because I did not think they did this, but they did. You can actually see through the windows what you have decorated inside. Ho ho! I knew you could see down here what was in the hold. I was rather excited by that. But you can see through the windows too. Very clever. So this is the captain's area. And I really just tried to make this particular front area of it sort of like his social area. This is where he can sit um, with his higher ranking crew members, have some tea, um, and study some curiosities that he's collected along the way. Little pet there meant to come back and give him a chunk of meat for food, and I never did. Poor pet, going to starve. So I added some pretties along in here, um, mostly because, again, I don't have half the things that I would normally have um, since she's on the EU server, uh, not my actual character. <laughs> so yes, this is where um, most of our pets ended up. They're in these little cages and such. So. And here are the captain's quarters. So. Ooh, and I've got a gap. That will never do. Just in time to watch that frog leap out of its cage, blow fire, and then land again. That was hilarious. 
So, Captain's little study area over here. He figures out, um, keeps the important paperwork, figures out the crew's wages, etc. Sleeping is obvious enough. This little wash basin for first thing in the morning. Ooh, those are two different levels, aren't they? And then his little bath area back here. Say he. I'm not sure the captain's man. Could be a woman. Why'd they come back out? Let's go down in the hold first. So we can reach the hold either from the captain's quarters or from the cruise. The lower deck, sorry. They're not calling it a hold. How odd. I really wanted to do something with this upper area. I never got around to it. Um, there's just, I think, 700 slots. Would be plenty, but the ship is massive. There's actually quite a lot of room. So, we're just storing. We're, we're shipping some stuff. A few animals. Some big crates. Some moon sugar. Some probably we should have the crew get too close to it. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, you'd think that these little portholes would be for cannons or something. And they really should be. But no, that's so that, you know, the crew gets fresh air when they're down here. Sleeping instead of working. I'm sure there'd be somebody on the crew like that. <laughs> So here are the crew quarters, and I really tried to make these a little bit more individual. So the crew quarters are divided up. The middle section here is their eating, drinking, gaming kitchen area, and then they have all their separate rooms. The lower deck here, they share rooms, and it is for mostly for new hires, except for Cook's room, of course. So this is mostly the eating area. The kitchen area. And the drinking area. And the rooms down here right by the raucous drinking area are the, the least favored. So, starting on this side, uh, you'll notice some of the rooms are considerably more personalized than others. The more personalized the room, the more likely the crew has worked here for some time. Cook's room, of course, is another story entirely. Cook's room is quite personalized. And really belongs on the upper story, but Cook wishes to be close to their uh, kitchen. And forgive the oversized door. I'm not sure what size door would fit in that doorway, but none of the ones I could figure out. <laughs> so this room is currently empty, but it is meant for... Um, crew hire ons of which there's no one living in that one yet this one is used some of our newer crew hire on hire ons as is this one ah these guys do a fair bit of sewing, both for those cells and for other crew members. These guys have an interest in the Dwemer arts and have been allowed to bring along some and collect some. 
some crazy noises outside. This is supposed to be crew quarters, but obviously um, it has been taken over for another purpose. Captain doesn't say anything as long as they do it in their own time. And not while he's given orders. Upstairs, the permanent crew have their own little eating and drinking area. Mostly used for breakfast and tea and such. And their own little night gaming area. Quite fancy. So this room belongs to a rather grumpy Nord who, despite having been on the crew the longest, has no real desire for frippery and so thus keeps a very simple room. Our red, that was so weird. Did you guys see that? what that was <laughs> something loading from somewhere else <laughs> this is our red guard room keeps quite a nice neat tidy room unlike some of our others <laughs> excuse me it is allergy season here so here is the first of our Dark Elves rooms, and we actually recently hired his cousin. Those things are poking through the wall. So he's been on the crew for a long time, and his cousin moved in next door. He's a bit of an odd sort, but long as he does his job well. And here is our rather snooty high elf crew member. You'd think he'd uh, find himself too good to be doing honest work on a ship, but he's not. It's actually the best one. Up in the rigging. Who do? On this side, we have. Okay, so granted, this is Telvani furniture. I'm not sure who the crew member is. Are they a wood elf using Telvani furniture? I just wanted to show off all their furniture. And since my, um, my video had to be taken down where I had used it in my um, in my druid house druid slash wood elf house and showed off all the different pieces um, I decided to put it here instead so this is a bunch of it it's not all of it um Maybe for a wood elf. Or a druid. Or who knows. Maybe we just don't question. Spot of tea? <laughs> these, my friend pointed out this, these um, would be very bad if you had a fear, the fear of the, the things with the holes in them. Like, like look like wasp nest. And I have to agree. They're, it's on like all of the new furniture, isn't it? Darn. The furniture's really cute otherwise. Okay. So, this would be our rather mysterious crew member. <laughs> who um, doesn't often join the others for meal times. Nobody questions why. It's best not to question these sort of things. <sighs> They're a good solid crew member otherwise, so... Who dare complain? And last but not least, our Kajiti crew member. 
I had a lot of fun personalizing these rooms, as you can guess. Well, you have to do something, right? And as you can see, old 700 of 700. <laughs> but, uh, end up quite the thing. It's another of those darn ships passing us. We have more sails. A loft must be our size that's slowing us down. Speedy little tiny boat. I shall shake my fist at you, except I don't think this character had shake fist. Does she? Yes! I shall shake my fist at you! <laughs> well, thank you for watching. Welcome to my funny little decorated ideas ship. Not quite as fancy and bright and colorful as the um, new house that I did, but I, I, I thought I'd, I tried to do something with this. Um, I'm sure people will come up with some crazy stuff to do, and I've already thought about how differently I would do things if this were in the regular server with my regular characters and my access to all of my pets and other things. So. We'll see. In the future, you may see a very, very different version of this. But for now, my adventures in the PTS server, this is what you get. So, thank you so much for watching.